Hey everybody, BTF, BTTF Jim C1984 here again, and uh, this video is going to be some stuff I picked up Friday night at a little uh, Hot Wheels and Car Cruise night over here in uh, Mesa, Arizona. Uh, same old stuff, people, you know, trying to sell overpriced main lines, T-Hunts, so I took a look over at some uh, vintage stuff. And found a little table that had some uh, old cars for about a buck each, so I picked them up. Uh, they're not in the best shape, but uh, they are good uh, custom uh, candidates later on down the road. Picked up one of these uh, little Hot Wheels mini trucks. It's the Good Time Camper. Uh, needs to be a little bit cleaned up. Window needs to be cleaned up with the old tape, masking tape, residue, roof needs to be cleaned up. Uh, gonna be a custom later on down the road. Definitely gonna do a nice wheel upgrade. Maybe work on a little bit of uh, practicing on my uh, paint skills on it. Picked up one of those. Got had another one, so I picked up both of them so that one wouldn't be lonely. Another little mini uh, trucker or mini truck. Uh, this one's a little bit interesting. It's got a darker window, so I don't know if that's a known variation with dark and light windows, but it's both the uh, black base and the uh, reddish interior, so I don't know if the uh, window tint matters or not. So they are what they are. Buck each. Can't go wrong. Uh... No, another collector loves these things. It's going to be used for customs, maybe. Little gulch steppers, little off-road 4x4s, both the red and the uh, light yellow, neon yellow. Uh, wheels need to be worked on a little bit. Might do a wheel upgrade on them a little later on. Maybe those newer uh, off-road tires that Hot Wheels has. I ever get my hands on some of those uh, real rider car, more trucks like those Broncos with the real riders. Uh, from the nose art, might pull a couple off for these. Little gulch steppers, and out of a basically one Hot Wheels, this little uh, Datsun 200 SX, old uh, Hot Ones. Window is a little bit uh, messed up, but o overall, you know, it's still got the hood, still pretty decent shape body wise. Uh, probably gonna make this maybe a little uh, dirt track race car or something like that, maybe something outrageous where something's sticking out of the hood or a window, maybe a post-apocalyptic type of a car like my Nova I did a while back. Just kind of, you know, cut that out, make put some mesh on it, leave it to paint the way it is, leave the wheels the way they are, and just, you know, put different little parts here and there, some guns, something like that. I got a few little ideas in store for this. I got some extra parts I'm going to play with on that, so stay tuned for that one. And also got, this is all a dog by the way, like I said, guy had some uh, matchboxes sitting around, so I picked up this uh, nice little Fire Chief, old uh, Ford Galaxy 4-door. Really like it is, it's got the driver in there. Uh, I know a lot of these things are probably missing the dome light, and probably that driver got plucked out as with a kid or something like that, but it was really neat that back in the 60s, Matchbox was putting uh, drivers in the cars, so that really adds a little more realism. Might uh, do some work on this one as well, maybe leave the wheels the way they are, fresh coat of paint, maybe find someone that can make a decal for the Fire Chief emblems. It's missing the little hook, so I might put some uh, metal JB Weld uh, to task and fill in that uh, back bumper, but overall it's a really nice, it still rolls. What's really nice about these old matchboxes is it had kind of a suspension. I am going to do a full video on a bunch of old matchboxes I have, so stay tuned for that video. And also, couldn't believe it, there was one price on it, but he went down a buck on this. Really nice. I know a few of uh, you people are probably going to drool over this one, but this old Lindsay matchbox bus. It's like an old Greyhound bus, a little bit more realistic proportion than the Hot Wheels one. I'm still looking for a Hot Wheels Greyhound. Can't wait for the uh, one to come out in the new Hot Ones. But this is uh, made in England by Lindsay Matchbox Coach number 66. And apparently a kid named Gary used to own this car. His name is engraved on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not, but 
G A R R Y. So Gary, you're missing your tr uh, bus. I've got it after all these years. So real nice. Is missing the side tampa of whatever it used to have. Probably a Greyhound. I can't tell. I haven't found too much information. There's not much information on matchboxes that I know. If anyone knows any more on these older matchboxes, please leave a link below. And I kind of had to pay a scalper a little bit, but for five bucks, finally picked up one of the uh, Saturday Evening Post Blazers. I was unable to find this casting during the uh, Garage series, which really ticked me off. And I'm not about to spend 30 or 40 bucks for one little car, for a new car. So I, you know, I paid five bucks. It's about four or five in the store anyway. So I paid a little over uh, Walmart prices. That yeah, stuff, so that was that. And oh, also forgot one more loose one. This little assault crawler from uh, its later run. I think it was. Let's see. Pull up my little information cheat sheet. This is the one from 1997. Now it's a 97 one because of the mini wheels on it. Had the little go kart tiny wheels. The uh, 80s one had the uh, re still using the old Zowie's uh, wheels. So that's how you can tell. One of these loose ones from the new from the old is these older wheels. If it looks like the little ones that were on the goat cart, it's the newer ones. If they have a little bit more better, like mag looking inside, it is from the old Zowie's line, which I'll show in another video later on. So this group was a dollar each, uh, and this one was five bucks. And as I was going to get to, uh, a while back I had shown I had found this little Bronco in a Goodwill. It was the only Hot Wheels sitting in there. The old Hong Kong, poor, poorly used. This thing saw its time. And I said, if I ever find another one, a Blackwall, Hong Kong, uh, made Bronco, I was going to offer this one up as, a, I was going to do this as a custom. I was going to work on it. I have another Bronco, which I'm going to use for the back glass and glass and uh, canopy so I got a donor vehicle ready because for eight bucks I know I probably spent a little bit too much but Joe Master Lover, you're not the only one that likes Broncos found this one for eight bucks at that car show beautiful only one little chip right there on the rocker panel but it is as blister fresh as you could get. This guy was not talking down no eight dollars. I tried to, said it ate or nothing, and I I just had to get it. I, I wanted an example of a brand like nice freshly brand new Hong Kong fresh out of the blister package. Just sat around for how many years? I mean, it is an excellent unplayed with shape. So. This is what this is what this one used to look like before this one became a kid's favorite play toy in the sandbox, schoolyard, daycare, friend's house. Who knows the history behind this overly loved car? So I now got a nice brand new Rocco. Well, that is it for my finds for that car show. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I will have a couple more videos coming up shortly. Uh, stay tuned, so bye-bye, everybody.